Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today I am with you with no makeup on and there's a reason for that. Today we're going to be trying out a new product which is called the Dermasuction Pore Cleaning Device. Love the donuts in the background by the way. It was, it's funny because I wanted to film a similar video to this probably about maybe four months ago at this point and I don't know if anyone would remember brownie points if you do, but I, rem I remember mentioning, and I don't know if it was in a vlog or not, that I had ordered a product on Facebook and I got scammed out of like 25 bucks. <laughs> My product never arrived and I never got a confirmation email. I was like emailing the customer service that they had. No one would ever respond. Like it was just super scammy and I never saw that money again. So if you wanna try this out for yourself, I wouldn't recommend ordering it online unless the website is like very, very legitimate. I don't know, the, the website that I ordered from, it looked, it looked good, but who's to say? Um, I found this at Walmart for about 20 bucks. I found it in the As Seen On TV section and I had always seen those like poor, pulling blackhead removal videos on Facebook and I really wanted to try it and see if it worked for myself. Now I did open the packaging already because I wanted to see if it needed any batteries and it does. Um, so we're just gonna pull it out and take a brief look at it together. So it says dermasection is a new way to clean pores. It gently removes blackheads and dirt from the pores on your face without squeezing. The powerful yet gentle vacuum that pulls dirt and oils out of your skin leaving your skin feeling clean and youthful. Now, I did take a shower this morning and I really, really wanted to film this video like right after the shower while my face, um, while my pores were like still open from all the steam, but I forgot to charge my battery. So my battery's been charging all day and that's why I'm with you again tonight. So let's pull out the um, device itself and take a quick look at what we got. So it comes with four different heads. It comes with some instructions, which will be useful. So it comes in this little plastic thing. Um, one head is already attached, and then it has three other heads. So this thing itself, again, is the thing that needs batteries. So it does have a little plastic piece over it. You remove that. You can take this right out. This is what it looks like. Just has an on-off switch in the front. And then it's from um, the... It says bulb, bulbhead.com on the back. I don't know. I'm kind of um, curious about going on the website and seeing if they have any other kind of um, cool devices to try out. The tip that it comes with looks really small. And then it looks like we have a larger... Oh, this is more like an oblong opening. This is more circular. This is more oval. Then we have a tip that looks... Um, uh, uh, terrifying. It has like a little metal kind of grippy piece on the end and then it has one more but very large circular hole tip. So I don't know what each um, tip is for but that's why we have instructions. So let me take a quick look at this and just kind of tell you the important parts that we might need to know about putting a vacuum on our face. Oh, let's open up the battery compartment because I forget what this called for so that you're aware. It takes two double A's, two double A batteries. So nothing obnoxious and there's no screwing involved. Um, it just has like a little tab here you push and pop it right open. Right here, it's gonna tell us what all four heads are about. So the small head is for gentle suction, perfect for everyday use on the sensitive skin and nose area. The large circular hole has the, it's a strong suction, perfect for blackheads. So we're gonna be probably trying this out as well because that's my biggest issue at the moment. The oval head is for getting into corners of the nose and the mouth. I could see that. And then the sonic head, the torture device, is to, um, oh, exfoliate dead skin while pulling out dirt and oil. Cool, and this could actually potentially be one that we use because we're in winter and my pore skin is just so dry. So how to change the suction heads. I am gonna start with the oval one, the small one, um, but just so we know how, um, place one hand on the suction head and your other hand on the unit. Firmly pull off the suction head and reinstall your desired suction head in the same manner. So do I literally just, okay, I can't just 
pull, oh, okay, maybe you can, you just gotta pull really, really hard. Um, so once you pull it, you get this little piece here, and then I guess to switch heads, we'll just put on the exfoliating one at the moment, um, push it back in. Oh yeah, okay. There's no noise, there's no clicking, but it, it, it it's pushed pretty well in, and then to remove it, I kind of like twist and pull it off. Um, that seems to be the easiest way. So. That's cool. The removal and the switching is like super, super simple. Let's continue to read. Start by opening up your pores by washing your face with warm water, steam, or a hot, wet towel. Make sure your face is dry and your hands are blah, blah, blah. I'll wash my face right before we start. Um, but apply the dermis section onto your face and slowly move the derm dermis section around your face, not keeping it in place for more than two seconds. Now I'm kind of curious because is this gonna like leave hickeys all over my face? You know what I mean? Like I don't wanna be breaking all these blood vessels, so I'm curious. Um, but yeah, it says, uh, for best results, focus on your problem areas. Well, yeah. Um, okay, select your desired suction head and turn it off by switching the on-off switch. All right, after each use, clean the suction head by running warm under warm water and allow the suction head to air dry. All right, awesome. Uh, do not try to clean the white part with water. <laughs> um, you can use a wipe down with a soft, damp cloth. Okay, I think we've read enough. I'm gonna go quickly wash my face to open up my pores again. I have a, a little mirror here as well we're gonna use, and we're gonna try out a couple of these um, heads and see if we see any nastiness in here. I'm excited. We're back from washing my face. I just ran the water water really, really warm, um, washed my face, and then dried it with a towel. So we're, we are ready to use this little guy. Let me bring you guys in. All right, we're going to um, turn her on. Oh, wait a minute. OK, so it has two different suction powers. So if you click it up just one notch, it's like a low suction and then high suction. I think we're gonna start with the low first. My biggest problem areas are basically around my nose. I get a lot right here. Ooh, I need, I need a, I'm blind. I need a different mirror. I'm gonna take my Amrezi highlighter uh, mirror to take a look at. So basically right here, I see a lot of enlarged pores and blackheads right here on my nose and then right here. Basically my T-zone and then a little bit on my cheeks as well. So I am going to start, I don't know where to start, I'm gonna start in the lowest section and we're just gonna start to see if we see anything. So, um, oh. Oh, ow. Immediately it's not the most a comfortable thing in the world. Oh wow, I'm already starting to see, I can't tell if that's oil or what in there, but it's pulling something. But it's not like what I'm seeing on like the Facebook ads where you could see the little like stringy bits come out, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I can definitely feel if I hold it on one spot a little too long, it's um, it, it kind of feels like it's pulling my skin a little bit, so I think I gotta be careful with that. So far, so good. Not really any redness or anything. My skin isn't super sensitive, but um, I'm just gonna keep doing this around my face and see if my thoughts kind of change. You know what I'm gonna do is actually up up the ante a little bit, so I'm gonna do it on the high setting this time. Okay, so I feel like I got a pretty good feel for this one. There's a little bit of stuff. So there's like a little bit of stuff around the rim, maybe a little bit of oil in there as well. Can definitely some stuff see some stuff that was picked up. Right away, my first impression is that it does feel like it kind of gets stuck to your skin a little bit. So you can't really be afraid to like pull it. Um, I, I was doing like short um, kind of streaks. Like I'd put it on, pull it down, pull it away. 
put it on, pull it down, pull it away. And we're gonna try the large um, uh, circular one now and see if I see any difference. I don't wanna go over the same areas too, too much because then my skin's gonna get really irritated. I can see a little bit of redness developing, but nothing too crazy. So once again, we're gonna try first on the low speed and then I, if I feel like I can go higher, I'll put it on the next speed up. Mm, ow. Okay. Big difference between, well that one like, that one really sucked up my skin. So this one I think I gotta move a little bit, maybe quicker. <laughs> okay, this one is a little more terrifying. This one definitely like, <laughs> it grabs your face, okay. Um, yeah, that one was definitely a little more intense. I'm getting a headache. We're gonna try, the exfoliating one is honestly scaring me a little bit. I think, oh God, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it, we're gonna try it because I wanna try all four of them. So here goes the exfoliating one. I'm actually terrified of this one, but I'm gonna try it not really on the areas that I've already done so many times because they're feeling a little rough, um, a little sensitive, but I am gonna try um, maybe up here I had some dry skin. I don't know. We're just gonna... I'm gonna do it on my arm first. Oh. That actually doesn't feel that bad, so... I'm gonna try it. Oh god. I don't know how I feel about it. It's hard to see if it's really doing anything. Um, my biggest concern is just how it was gonna feel on my face, but to be honest with you, it felt not bad. Um, I can definitely, okay, there is like some stuff in here, but it almost looks like, like dry skin. Like it was, it was like sucking up any skin that it was exfoliating off, which is pretty cool. Um, so I wouldn't be afraid of this one. I actually really like that one. Um, so the last one we, that we have to try is like the little tiny, um, oval one. And this one was the one that was good to get around your mouth, around like your nose. So I think that's where, gonna, where we're going to concentrate, um, most of this, this tip here. Okay. Wow. Um, ugh. I can definitely see the most in this one. There's like a bunch of crud on the rim. As you can see, my face is um, getting a little bit red um, in areas but I felt like this one definitely had the most um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for the most I guess just stuff in it um, I am curious I want to go back to the very first one that we tried and go over my face one more time I felt like with this one I went a little bit slower and that's why I got a better result I'm just afraid of getting like all these hickey looking things all over my face so I'm gonna go over my face one more time on the high setting with the first one that we tried and then I'll be back to kind of give you my final thoughts and to tell you if I think this product works or not all right so I feel like that time it definitely worked um, a little bit better, but my face kind of hurts. <laughs> it doesn't really hurt. It just feels like, you know, I've definitely had like a treatment done to it or something. It feels a little bit sensitive. Um, so I would say the product, you know, definitely works. I definitely think that, you know, a lot of marketing kind of comes in a place where it's like, oh, you can see all your blackheads coming out and stuff. I still see a lot of them. There are a couple that I see from here and I'm like damn like that thing needs to come out <laughs> you know it's not like this miracle worker but I feel like it could definitely be um a useful um addition to your, maybe your skincare routine maybe even like once a week go over your face or something just to remove um any excess or oil or dirt but I think some blackheads might be a little bit too deep even for this thing to get without squeezing and potentially scarring your face so I think it was really cool to give a try I just don't think it's something that I'm like yes for sure like 100% get it it will change your life I think, again, that it, it would be a good addition, but I think you need to do other stuff to um, remove blackheads on top of this. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I know it was more of a casual video, but this has been sitting over in the side and I've been dying to film this video and I finally got an opportunity to. If you enjoyed, please go ahead and show me by leaving a thumbs up. And if you don't wanna miss any new videos, hit that subscribe and that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.